Hi all. Now look at this image. See this image depicts an edible art. Yes, I am not lying to you. This image is created using a Japanese art form of rice paddy art which is also called as tambo art. So what is this tambo art? How it is created? This is what we are going to decode in this video. Just stay tuned in the video to know the answer. Here in this image you can see that a paddy field is turned into canvas and using the popular Japanese art form of rice paddy art or tambo art a huge image of Jesus Christ is created. See this is not something happening yesterday. Even few days back a Vyanad farmer created Ashoka Chakra using tambo art. So what is this tambo art? How it is created? And why it is gaining attention in India? See in Japanese rice field are called ta or tambo. And as I already said tambo art uses rice fields as a canvas to create huge design works by planting rice with different colored leaves and grain heads. The idea is that the design illustration will be viewed from a high point like a viewing platform. Okay? Now the image that you are looking at is created by Mr. Prasid Kumar Tail. He is a progressive farmer in Vayana district in Northern Kerala. He has used six varieties of rice seeds like Ramli, Dabar Shala, Nazarbat, Raktasali, Krishna Kaumot and Kalyani Violet to create a 3D image following this tambo art. So how these gained pieces of tambo art are created? See firstly a design is chosen by the farmer to cultivate the rice ceilings. Remember the artwork cannot be completed unless the rice plants are cultivated well. Nurturing the seedlings is an extremely important task. Along with the seedlings in the nursery, preparations also begin on the rice fields. Water is run into the fields, the earth is tilled and fertilizer is spread. Next, a base drawing of the design is made and a surveyor makes a design blueprint for the stakeout based on this. The area is then surveyed according to the coordinates written on the design blueprint and the field is staked out with the stakes joining together by ropes. Then the farmer decides the variety of seedlings to be planted in each section. Next the rice fields are finally planted. So this is how the huge edible art is created. Now since rice is the stable food of Japanese people, after the rice plants are harvested, the rice is milled into polished rice and later on it will be given out to those who participated in the event and it is used as a treat for lunch at that event. Okay? So this is how the popular Japanese art form of rice paddy art is created. Now coming back, see this huge image was drawn by artist E.D. Raji with the assistance of only 8 women workers. The young farmer spent 15,000 rupees to complete the paddy artwork and since tambo art are created with great attention paid to details, it is creating large tourist centers. And the young farmer is expecting at least 10,000 visitors to his farm this year. On the other hand, the farmer's gene bank has also collected as many as 300 varieties of rice seeds from across the country of which 100 varieties have been cultivated this season on his 10 acres using organic methods. Now seeing this, many other farmers in the district are also following his path in creating small images in their paddy fields as well. I hope you all got an opportunity to know about a new form of creative cultivation method. So to know more related articles like this, please do subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Now, thank you for listening.